So you want to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6 in this case, and you are launching it through Steam, but the particular store used to purchase and launch the game probably doesn't matter. You will have the same thing in Battle.net. The game starts, you see the splash screen, but after a while it crashes to desktop without any error. Well, actually there is an error if you go to the Windows logs, but the error message shines no light on what the actual problem is. A while ago I already did a video on a similar error in the same game, and here is an example of a typical viewer thanking me in the comments for wasting my time on trying to solve problems with your computer. Not mine, but your problems with your computers. Anyway, in this particular case, this is a very specific issue which will be rectified very soon, so this video will probably age like fine milk. So this computer is running the latest Microsoft operating system available at the moment I'm making the video, which is Windows 11, build 24H2, which is the latest build of that operating system. And the reason why you're having this error is this Microsoft update, which was released a couple hours before I started to make this video. This is some optional security update, and the reason why the game crashes is that probably the game anti-cheat is not yet accustomed to this new update. And if you want to play the game before Activision releases an update to Call of Duty, what you need to do is to uninstall this update. So go to your Windows settings, open Windows Update, open Update History, find the update with this number and uninstall it. After the uninstallation is complete, you have to reboot the computer And this time around, the game starts normally. Oh, and if you wonder why this video has so many pauses in my speech when I say nothing, but there is still something going on on the screen, the reason for this is another expression of gratitude from yet another viewer who said in the comments that I cut my videos in a bad way, basically showing screenshots, and what I should do is to treat the viewer as a pupil grab him by the hand and show him around Windows and all its basic features. Since this is a basic feature that is supposed to be known to anyone using Windows for about a week or so, I have nothing to say while that is happening on the screen, so enjoy in awe. But again, as I said, this particular video will not age well since either Microsoft will change the update or Activision will update their game so the Windows update doesn't crash it, and this usually happens quite soon. So if you are watching this video from the future and you still have a problem with the game, I would like to say a few things to make this video evergreen. So first, what you need to do is to search for any recent Windows updates and try uninstalling them. This will probably rectify the situation. If the reason for the crash is the same, Windows was updated and the game is yet to accommodate for that update. Please note that uninstalling updates is only possible if you haven't removed the temporary files. In Windows storage settings, there is a cleanup section and one of the boxes there is called Windows Update Cleanup. And this is what keeps the older versions 
of the updates before they are replaced by a newer version of updates. And if you have this cleaned up, you will not be able to uninstall updates. Again, this has nothing to do with Windows Restore points or whatever, this is where the um, previous versions of updates are kept. So if you have already deleted this, to save up space, I don't know, you will not be able to uninstall updates. What you could possibly do is try to install the same build of Windows you have from an installation media, but without downloading any updates and also keeping your files. So basically this will downgrade Windows without deleting anything, so you don't have to re-download or install anything. However, this is usually a very bad idea and you're better off clean installing Windows by booting from an installation media and then re-downloading and reinstalling all your programs and games. This is the correct way to downgrade Windows or reinstall Windows for any other reason. And one more thing, if you want to at least try to avoid similar problems happening in the future, you have to disable get the latest updates as soon as they are available option in Windows Update. This will give you some time before the update is downloaded and installed and maybe in this period of time the game update will arrive first. So when you install Windows updates your game may already receive an update and you will be able to run it no problem. But again, this is a very specific tutorial to solve a very specific problem caused by a very specific thing. So bear that in mind. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.